Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. We are back with another custom ROM video today and I am very excited for it because this is Android 12 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So for the longest time I was searching for a good Android 12 ROM for the Redmi Note 10 Pro and finally I found it. So huge shout out to XJ Developers website because that's where I found it and if you want to know how to install Android 12 on your Redmi Note 10 Pro then stick around till the end of this video because that's where I'll tell you how to do it. But right now let's dive into Android 12 and let's see all that material you glory. Alright, as you can see, this is Redmi Note 10 Pro running on stock Android 12. First up, let me go into the settings and check the Android version. So about phone, then Android version and as you can see, it is Android 12. Now if we go to 12 o'clock, there is an Easter egg over here. So once you go to 12 o'clock, you will get this Easter egg. That is because it is Android 12. Now Android 12 is all about the material changes, especially Material U, which is a new theming engine that is come with Android 12. Basically everything is changed in terms of the looks. First of the notifications itself, they are well rounded now and they are well segregated as well. For example, all the Gmail notifications are here. Then if I go to Instagram, they are here. Then the Google notifications are here and so on and so forth. Basically notifications are much better and I really like that. Also, these quick toggles are rounded and bigger. They're now in the style shape and they look absolutely stunning. I really like the look of the quick toggles over here. Now, one of the major changes is with the colors. So, for example, if you change the wallpaper, the color of these icons will also change. So, let me go ahead and do that right now. So, if I go to backdrops, my favorite application for wallpapers, I'm just going to choose a new one. Let's find, let's find one from Venkatesh, yeah. So Venkatesh, if you're watching this, you make awesome wallpapers, man, like next level wallpapers. Let's set this wallpaper by Venkatesh. So I'm gonna long press on set, then wallpapers, set wallpaper, and I'm done. So now when I go to the home scene, as you can see, the colors of the icons has changed and also the colors of the quick settings has changed. So basically it will take colors from the wallpaper and that is excellent. You can go ahead and change this setting in the setting of the, you know, customization. So once you go to wallpaper and style, there is an option called as themed icon. So if you don't want this, you can just turn it off and the icons will go back to their normal colors. But I do like this feature. So I'm going to go into settings wallpaper and style and themed icons i'm just going to turn it on now there are also some new widgets in android 12 but they don't seem to be working over here i think that this version is a little older in the newer versions the new widgets will definitely work and they look absolutely stunning so i'm waiting for an update and as soon as that comes i will make another video about it because android 12 is just awesome even the settings page has been changed and yes the settings background will also be chosen from the wallpaper so the color of the background will be taken from the wallpaper basically material you will take colors from the wallpaper and your whole ui will be like that which is just awesome google has done a very good job in terms of the looks of android 12 it is way better than ios this time and i really appreciate that apart from that the multitasking window is the same like there are no major changes over here it's basically the same and the stock Google applications also follow Material U now. So for example, if I go into the Dialer application, you can see that it is following Material U. If I go to Gmail, even that is following Material U. If I go to Messaging application, even that is doing that. Basically, all the stock applications are also following Material U and that is excellent. So regardless of your operating system, all your Google apps will be updated to Material U design and that is an excellent thing. Now, apart from this, this is stock vanilla Android, no bloatware whatsoever, straight from Google and that's exactly how it is supposed to be. It's based on the AOSP project that is Android open source project and I really like stock Android over here. Stock Android is literally the best out there. All in all, I'm going to say Android 12 is awesome and the experience on Redmi Note 10 Pro has been nothing short of amazing. If you want to install Android 12 on your Redmi Note 10 Pro, you are going to require some prerequisites. First up, you'll need an unlocked bootloader and second, you'll need a custom recovery install like PWRP recovery. If you don't know how to do these things, then don't worry, I've got you covered. I'll drop links to articles on my website itself, which will guide you on how to unlock the bootloader and install a custom recovery on your Xiaomi smartphone. Once you have the unlocked bootloader and custom recovery, you need to flash a couple of files and you'll be good to go. I'll make sure to drop a link to the XD developers post in the description box below. Follow that post and Android 12 will be running on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So anyway, this was a very quick video about Android 
12 on Redmi Note 10 Pro. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.